So today I wanted to share a question that came up this week with one of my clients. Um, this particular client and I are using a tool which I use with a lot of uh, clients and it's a tool for uh, stakeholder engagement and planning and communications and how we're going to get people on board, how we're going to help to shift them from where they are today to maybe learning something new or, or bringing on a different perspective. And so this particular person had asked me, he'd said, you know, we've, we've got this tool and, you know, I've been working with it for a while now and I feel like I've got this particular individual completely dialed. I know which buttons to press, I know the type of answer I'm going to get. And he was really questioning the ethics around doing that and being able to do that. And, um, and I could see he was really wrestling with it. So I thought it'd be worth sharing here because I'm really keen to hear your perspective as well. If you're in change, if you're in transformation, then this comes up. You, you can't help but butt up against this idea of how far is, is reasonable. Um, is it our job to change people? Is it our job to do something else? Uh, so I'm curious to hear your thoughts, but I have an opinion on this. And so I thought I'd share. There's a few things for me. I think the first thing that's worth, um, that's worth talking about is use your powers for good. <laughs> so when you discover the Jedi mind trick and you're able to, you know, help people through um, unraveling their belief patterns and, and working through maybe old thinking and old patterns that are no longer useful and help them to see that different perspective. You know, it's it, it really is about using your powers for good. It's part of why I always teach a lot of self-reflection um, in the work that I do as well, because that is a bit of a safety rail in terms of if you're doing that self-reflection work um, at the same time as you are transforming externally, then it's about keeping in check and keeping in balance. Uh, and th I think the second thing I would say is that, you know, any tool can be used for benefit or detriment, depending on the hands that are in charge. Um, most of you know by now that I have horses and, and have loved doing that for a number of years. And one of my teachers uh, has this beautiful quote where he talks about the fact that any tool that we use with this animal can be used for, for good or bad. Um, and, you know, those of you that work with horses will also know that it's pretty hard to beat a half ton of horse flesh into doing something that they don't want to do. Uh, and so there's the sense that the tool is the tool. And what this particular teacher has showed me is that it can be used for betterment or for detriment. And really, that's, that's up to you. That's up to the hands that are guiding the tool and how that tool is used. Um, to give you an example out of the office, KPIs. We're all familiar with them. Those measurements, those performance indicators, they can be used for betterment and for driving conversations about are we heading in the right direction? Are we hitting our goals? Are we seeking out the understanding that's going to take us to the next level? And equally, KPIs can be used to bash people over the head when things aren't going our way. Um, so it really comes back to the hands that are using the tool. And I think finally, it's worth talking a little bit about consent or contracting, as I would call it. So uh, I'm fortunate enough that in most of the engagements that I have, I'm either working one on one with a leader or working with a leader and their team. Uh, and in both cases, we're able to have that conversation up front about knowing that they are signing up for change, knowingly, willingly signing up for a change in perspective a change in the way that we work and the methods that we use. Willingly stepping into, actually, I've got some barriers and I've got some things that uh, are outside my blinkers and I can't see them. And I'm seeking the help and the support to get through those and to maybe shift my box and to reframe. And so there's a very direct conversation about contracting one-on-one -on -one with that person as to where the role sits in terms of transformation and helping them get from where they are today to another place. Uh, and, and that's all very direct. So I guess that's the, the final point that I wanted to leave you with, the final thought around you know, making sure that you're having the conversations with people as well. This isn't about surreptitious, underhanded, off to one side ninja stuff. This is about 
open conversation. It's about being transparent with the audience and it's about willingly signing up. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think if you're doing all of that, you're probably along the right track. But I would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Uh, super interested if you've had sticky situations or things that you've learned from, uh, drop me a comment below.